Hello and welcome. Shaq Barrett got released by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, kind of a cap casualty, an older player who was not living up to the contract that was given to him. Of course, Shaq coming off of a significant injury, especially for a player on the wrong side of 30 with the Achilles tear, picked up by the Miami Dolphins. And I got to give Shaq Barrett a lot of credit, give his agent a lot of credit. I would not have expected, when Shaq Barrett left the Buccaneers, I did not think he was going to get as high paying a deal as he got. I I'm impressed with the amount of money he was able to command. It's not a long term deal or anything like that, but still, I kind of thought that his value would be near nil just because his production was not up to par last season. And while I do still think Shaq Barrett might have a little bit of something left, you'd hope that, you know, year two coming off the Achilles, it might be obviously better than year one, you know, kind of have a full year to recover. But I'm surprised he gets the money that he gets. The Miami Dolphins, for them, I, I kind of like the move a little bit. Um, the Dolphins, if Shaq Barrett can get back to even a semblance of, of what Shaq Barrett was, this is a good move. It's just you're gambling on age and injury not kind of not being there, and they are. So it'll be interesting to see how the season pl plays out for Shaq Barrett as a Miami Dolphin. I just I love it for him that he was able to get another deal and get the money that he gets with it. I hope. I would love to see Shaq Barrett go out and get, you know, be a double-digit sack guy next season. I, I just don't know that that's going to happen, but it would be awesome to see, you know, being on the Dolphins. Maybe Shaq Barrett gets another solid playoff run on his resume. The Dolphins definitely a team that could potentially, you know, contend for a wild card spot. Um, excuse me, a wild card spot or the AFC East, and maybe make something happen in the postseason for Shaq. You know, coming down to the end of his career, it's nice to see him still be able to get some contracts. And hopefully his production can even exceed the contract. And then he can grab another one coming back next year in free agency.